What is up guys? We are on GTA 5 right now and uh, as you can see I got my police uniform, I got my police patrol car and I'm you guys are probably wondering how I'm doing this. Well, there you go guys. The trainer, the native trainer has finally came out. Uh, I believe it came out a couple of days ago from uh, GTA 5. So here we go. It's going to be a uh, pretty renowned experience here and of course you can go first person now because you're in single player you're not in director's mode you're actually in the first person or I'm sorry single player there's a lot of cool stuff that you can mess around with this native trainer it's pretty cool oh we got first person here this station wagon is too damn slow. And uh, if you guys notice, director's cut or director's mode didn't really give you like random responses, which sucked. Um, this one is actually just single player, and you can change your character anytime. You can change the wanted level, so forth. But this one has animals. This one has everything, pretty much that you can just mess around with do whatever you want have unlimited uh, or have all the weapons getting a police uniform security and there's also other skins that are not in the director's mode that you can screw around with too as well so um, random responses happen in single player as we know as uh, Franklin and Trevor and Michael uh, but now you can help out if you want. Actually, I think we have one right now coming. Yeah. So we're going to assist him here. And uh, these random occurrences happen. Which, if you guys want to pretend you're playing LCBDFR. Or, I'm sorry. Oh, oh shots fired. See, for example, this happens randomly. That's the cool part of this. And you could be in first person if you wanted to. It's really up to you. I'm going to get this guy's car moved out of the way here. It's more of an out of pretending until the real thing comes out, guys. I would not suggest using it on multiplayer because that will also get your account banned. But single player, of course, as we know, it's all fair game to uh, the modding community. And the native trainer goes to that level. And it's pretty cool. So we're just going to drive around, talk, have some fun. Pretty cool that we can do this now. Um again role playing is always to the pretend ability and now we can do as many role playing scenarios on here in single player as you want you know be a lifeguard be a firefighter be pretty much anything you want so we just got a call on that one as you just guys just seen there's random pursuits that happen the cops take people down there's, there's a lot of stuff that you will see when driving around sucky part is there's a lot of slow drivers Let's see if we can assist uh, LA here or San Los Santos people just do not know how to drive and I'm 
quite sure that uh, San Andreas FR or whatever they're going to call it is going to be pretty great as well. Uh, I mean, can you imagine Crown Vix in this game? This is a beautiful game. Uh, if you have your graphics all the way turned up, uh, it fairly runs on com people's computers, which is good. It's great. Gives you FPS to the fullest. I just love it, honestly. You can look around. You don't have to play director's mode without seeing first person or doing the capacity and limit of spawning vehicles and so forth. Damn, man. How long does this red light take? There we go. You complain about it, it turns. And I got a scanner running in the background, so that's where that's coming from. It's not from in-game ambience, so just giving you a heads up so you don't have to ask. I tell you, GTA 5 PC, Rockstar did an amazing job in the first person interaction. It's just so realistic. We're going to head up to the beach here. Maybe we'll get something. Wish a lot more happened though. Uh, would have been a lot more interesting to see. Let's see if we can, as soon as we s squeeze through here, the, yeah, the light's gonna change. See. So we're just gonna squeeze through and uh, make it to the beach here. And uh, of course the link will be at the bottom of where to find this native trainer. All you do is throw everything in your directory, the main three files, and uh, you're ready to go. You just press F4 and then all the options are available. Make sure you do have a numpad though, because some people do not if you're on a laptop. That was my bad. I didn't even look. Just trying to skip and get to my area here. And for those of you that are asking, uh, FST does not plan on doing any role playing on GTA. 
uh, we will let you guys know or I will keep everybody posted if we do decide to start role playing on GTA which I don't believe that will be an option uh, but if we do do anything like that I will make sure I inform anybody that uh, we will be role playing but we will not at this time we will just be enjoying the game having fun doing heists etc etc there's a lot of videos that we've been posting on heists and uh, working as a team getting it done making some money and having some fun alright look like there's any random events happening right now See if we can change the time of day here. All right, we got clear and eh, extra sunny. We'll go with extra sunny. Now here's the options you could do. You could do snow, which snow is pretty cool. You can do blizzard. You can do. I don't know what that is. I think it's just uh, thunder. Rain, overcast, foggy, smog, clouds, clear, and extra sunny. Um, you can do hide the HUD. You can do the time of day. You can do the random cops on and all that fun stuff. You can spawn any vehicle you want. You can make this car all different types of colors if you wanted to. It's not really the color I want it. Alright, let's see. There we go. You can spawn anything you want. You can give yourself all the weapons you want. You can beat anyone you want. For an example, let's go with. Uh, oh, my bad. Look at this. You got ranger. You could be a park ranger. You could be a prisoner. Uh, you can just be anything you want. SWAT. Yeah, I know the director mode does give you uh, these possibilities to do it, but unfortunately, the director's mode doesn't really give you everything. Director mode really leaves out a lot of things. You got Meriwether, Black Ops, No cop, security, prison guard, which is not in director's mode. Um, there are armored guard, which is in director's mode. You got all the strippers. We got, I don't know what this is. Uh, but you got this. You got, what's she supposed to be? Okay, I don't know. But you got so much that you can mess around with. You got zombie. The list goes on and on. And not to mention you can spawn any of the uh, what is it? The uh, animals that Rockstar has put in here. Can't really go first person in it, but uh, he just spawns it. Wow, okay. Well, 
that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. You're going to see a black screen right now because uh, I do believe my game crashed. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, trainer crashed. Uh, yeah, it did crash. Okay. Um, I'm going to be bringing a lot more videos uh, for GTA and probably be randomly ghetto patrolling, as I call it, because, you know, it hasn't been released yet. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And we will see you on the next video.